I give the call to the member for Capricornia. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. It would be an understatement to say that there is a lot happening in the world today. Australia as a nation has a lot on its plate. But, Deputy Speaker, our country is facing another potential national crisis, a crisis that threatens our entire industry in the state of Queensland, threatens to cause a devastating impact on livelihoods and threatens to put Australia in a position where it can never repair nor reverse. I'm, talk I'm talking about the danger of exploding pineapples. You heard me correctly. The issue of exploding pineapples is one that threatens to engulf Queensland's $80 million fresh pineapple industry. Can you imagine the catastrophe? One minute you're walking past a peaceful pineapple patch in the hinterland and the next bang, a pineapple spontaneously explodes like a hand grenade. According to the respected industry leaders, we are in grave danger of becoming a nation of exploding pines. This might sound slightly exaggerated and not the hallmark of a serious national issue. But let me explain. Exploding pineapples could be the result if this nation does not listen to current warnings from our nation's key pineapple supply industry. The industry is concerned about a move to allow the importation into Australia of fresh pineapples from Malaysia. Let me make it clear, Deputy Speaker. My comments today are not a racial slur designed to offend our friends in Malaysia or their pineapples, but they are designed to highlight the fact that our Australian pineapple industry is highly vulnerable and that importing fresh, decrowned pines from our Asian neighbours could introduce a disease that could potentially decimate our own industry, the result of which would ruin our local growers and lead to paddocks of pines spontaneously exploding. It may sound like I'm making light of this matter, but let me assure you, this is a real disease, this is a real threat, this is a real national issue. The disease I am talking about is the pineapple strain of Erwinia chrysanthemi. The disease is an internal rot that has been known to make the pineapple explode. Part of the cause is an internal buildup of noxious gas which swells up inside the fruit. There is no known method of dealing with the disease and no known way to eradicate it. A decrowned pineapple is one which has had its green head removed. In Australia, nearly all of our major all of our major pineapple industry is based in Queensland, supplying about 60,000 tonnes of fruit a year. My hometown of Yapoon on central Queensland Capricorn Coast is the headquarters for a company called Tropical Pines. Sourcing fruit from all over the state, Tropical Pines supplies 45 per cent of our nation's appetite for fresh pineapple. I have a huge interest in this industry. Earlier this year, I bought 300 fresh Yapoon pineapples to Parliament House in Canberra to distribute to my federal colleagues. My Pines for Parliament campaign aimed to highlight the agricultural diversity of my electorate of Capricornia. Only a week ago, I was asked to help judge Yapoon's Pineapple Festival Street Parade, which celebrates this tropical Queensland fruit. Now, I ask this question. Why would we, as Australians, want to put an industry that we consider worth celebrating with a community festival at risk? Industry leaders are distressed by the thought that Australian bureaucrats see nothing wrong with putting our industry at such risk. This disease is most prevalent in the most popular varieties grown in Malaysia and has been known to wipe out up to 40 per cent of a crop when detected. Let me give you some detailed background. The Federal Department of Agriculture, Fisheries and Forestry, or DAF, has performed an import risk analysis for the importation of fresh pineapples from Malaysia. Respected members of the Queensland pineapple industry have thoroughly re reviewed the document, but they believe that an error has been made by the department bureaucrats when assessing the probability and impact of the exploding pineapple disease. Tropical Pines CEO Derek Lightfoot indicates that there is no known method of dealing with the disease and no known way to eradicate it. The only way it is managed is to throw away the pineapples that are showing signs of the disease. But Mr Lightfoot asserts that 2 per cent of pineapples which are contaminated will not show any signs or warning of the disease, even though they are infected internally. I'd like to read to you part of a report provided to me by the Queensland pineapple industry. If the disease is not showing visually, then it will not be discarded by packers and will mistakenly enter the country. There is no known way of treating the diseased pineapples through quarantine. 
When assessing the probability of this disease being imported into Australia, DAF has assessed the probability as low. Queensland pineapple industry executives say DAF is in error and confuses the frequency, frequency or number of diseased pineapples entering Australia with the real probability of diseased pi pineapples entering Australia. This is an, a, an important distinction. Experienced industry managers like Derek Lightford and Mick Cranny maintain that the probability of importation is certain because up to 2 per cent of the fruit arriving here will carry the disease in a manner that is not detectable. To quote directly from their assessments, when an event is certain, the probability is 100 per cent and therefore the probability for this pineapple disease should not have been assessed by DAF as hot should have been assessed by DAF as high and not low. They say it appears that DAF may have looked at 2 per cent as being low, but in fact their 2 per cent refers to many pineapples will carry the disease rather than the probability of the disease entering Australia. Normally a correct assessment would ensure the additional safeguards should be put in place to prevent this disease coming to Australia or imports should not be allowed. However, both of the tropical pine experts say that the key point here is there is no additional safeguards that can be put in place because there is no known method of treating this exploding pineapple disease, especially when you cannot see the effects on the outside of the fruit. Therefore, the import of fresh pineapple from Malaysia should not be allowed. Mr De Deputy Speaker, Australia is a country in which we cannot even take our fruit across our own state borders without risking a fine because of the apparent risk of spreading disease. In airports like Perth, sniffer dogs roam around baggage collection points to detect passengers who may have carried a banana or pineapple off direct flights from Brisbane. Yet our government departments are prepared to allow a fruit with significant disease risk to freely enter our national borders from Malaysia. We quarantine international racehorses prior to the Melbourne Cup, all in, in the name of disease prevention. We outlaw animals with foot and mouth disease or rabies, yet we are a nation that appears willing to allow a dreadful disease to potentially infiltrate our iconic pineapple industry. We must not allow this nation to suffer from exploding pineapples. Queensland's leading pineapple industry officials go on to assert that DAF's error is a technical error but a very dangerous one. As a result, Tropical Pines has provided me with the following question to ask this House. Why would we allow a disease into Australia that can't be treated but can wipe out our pineapple industry? Why would we risk the pineapple industry for an annual quota of 200 tonnes of pineapples from Malaysia when we already produce 60,000 tonnes of pineapples in Australia? The risk-benefit equation makes no sense. Who is liable when this disease takes hold and can't be eradicated and destroys the Australian pineapple industry? especially when DAF has made a mistake in their risk analysis. Deputy Speaker, the pineapple industry in Queensland is an industry worth $80 million a year. We have about 80 growers and the sale of fresh pineapples is growing at a rate of 5 per cent per annum. Earlier this year, our colleagues in the Australian Senate completed an inquiry into the importation of decrowned Malaysian pineapples and recommended they should not be allowed to enter our country. Yet bureaucrats from DAF are bent on pushing ahead with the importations. Meanwhile, agricultural experts report that in Hawaii, the same disease affected other plants that were grown in soil that had been infected by the exploding pineapple disease. Today, I call on common sense to prevail. Our bureaucrats have the power to halt this madness. Do we want to be among the world's leading nations of exploding pineapples? Or do we want to ensure that we maintain a healthy and growing Australian industri industry of which we can rightly be proud of? Thank you. Thank you, Member. The question before the House is that grievances be noted.